Hi, this is Anil, and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. So, in this tutorial, we're gonna learn about the structures in C++. So, all of you have learned about the arrays. An array is a collection of similar elements, which means the elements or the value stored in an array must be of same type. If you had an integer array, we were only able to store the integer values in that, and if we had a character array, we were only able to store the character values in that. But in programming, sometimes we need to group the different type of data under one name and we need to access that data under one name. To do that in C++ we're gonna use something called structures. So this structure is nothing but the collection of different variables of different different types. For example, let's say you're gonna write a program to manage the student information. At that time, you need to store the different different information. For example, you need to store the roll number, you need to store the sex of the student, you need to store the marks, etc. etc. So this marks, sex, roll number will come under different different data types. And if you can group that variables under one name, then it's gonna be very easy to write the program. So here for the demonstration purpose in our tutorial we're gonna write a program to manage the student information okay first we're gonna define the structure to define a structure in your program we need to use the keyword struct so when we use this struct keyword the c will come to know that okay we are talking about the structures then the name of the structure or the name under which you want to combine different different variables or different different elements so here since we are storing the information of a student I'm gonna call it as student then a pair of curly braces and in the end of that curly braces don't forget to add a semicolon all right and now in between these curly braces whatever we write or whatever the variables we declare will be considered as the members of the structures all that members are available under this one name student for example, let's say in this struct student, I want to store the roll number of the student. So it's gonna be of int and let me call it as roll number. So declaring or defining a member of a structure is similar to the way we declare the variables, you know, which are nothing but the variables. And next, let's say we want to store the sex of the student and it's gonna be of type char sex. And this is it for, you know, the demonstration purpose here this member of a structure can be a variable or an array or a structure also or an union you know which we're gonna learn in the upcoming tutorials and the next thing that i want to teach you is when we define a structure globally you know outside all the functions the structure is available to all the functions in our program so if you define the structure inside this main function that then you guys can access the structure you know only inside that function you know the local scope and the global scope okay the next thing is how to declare the variables of this structure student so we can declare the variables of this structure student in two ways the one way is we can write the variable name after this closing curly brace for example let's say uh, i want to store the information of the student anil anil now this anil is a variable and if you want to create another variable let's say rashmit you know this rashmit and anil are the variables of this struct student so this is one way of declaring the structure variables another way is similar to the way we declare the variables for example so here we need to refer the structure name so when we define a structure you know that name of the structure will become a user defined data type so you guys can use that data type and declare variables so here we're gonna write the student which is a structure name and then the variable names as we are you know declaring for integer or character variables let's say this time rahul and uh, ajay so now we have four variables of this structure student and the two of them are global variables you know because they are declared outside all the functions and two of them are local because you know they are declared inside a function the next thing is how to assign the values to this structure variables so we can assign the values to the structure variables when we declare them like this way 
so what we guys need to do is we guys need to do the assignment operator and then between these curly braces we need to write the values for the respected structure members so here first we have the roll number and then we have the sex so here let's say the roll number is gonna be 1111 and the sex is gonna be male yum so this is one way of assigning the values to the structure members another way includes the dot operator a dot operator in structure is used to access the structure members so here if you wanted to access the structure member roll number then we just need to write the structure variable name let's say Rahul Rahul and then we need to use the dot operator dot then we need to specify this member name roll number then the assignment operator equal to let's say a value of 2222 and again I'm gonna use Rahul dot sex equal to yum so I'm gonna copy this one I'm gonna paste it two more times and I'm gonna change this one to Anil and Rashmit let me align that before okay and also it's gonna be Rashmit okay now we have four structure variables the next thing is accessing the value stored in the structure variables or the members of the structure variables for that also we're gonna use the dot operator so I'm gonna use the out and I'm gonna write the structure variable name let's say we want to access the members of the structure variable anil so I'm gonna write anil dot then the structure member name so it's gonna be roll number if you guys want to access the roll number and uh, let me add the end line and again anil dot sex all right now we have defined a structure we have declared the variables of a structure we have assigned values to the structure members and also we have accessed the values from the structure members so i'm going to save this i'm going to build and run this so now you guys can see 2222 okay i didn't change the values that's why you got 2222 and it's and the sex is m and uh, you know just for the demonstration i'm going to change this one to 8888 and build and run this you know you guys can see 8888 all right so a structure is a collection of different variables of different data types and the structure allows us to group different information under one name to define a structure we're going to use the keyword struct and uh, to access the members of a structure variable we're going to use the variable name structure variable name then the dot operator and then the member of the structure so this is it guys this is about the basics on structures thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you guys have any suggestion please tell us and i'll see you in the next tutorial